Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my morning routine, skincare and also my makeup routine. So first of all I get up in the morning around 7, maybe half 7 sometimes. Um, I'm not much of a sleeper inner. I just like to get up and start the day. So I always make my bed. Um, otherwise I just feel like nothing sort of in place or as it should be. Um, so yeah, I give the pillows a bit of a puff. I'm not very good at doing this as you can see. Um, and then I always sort of like draw my blinds. Then what I do is I head straight to the bathroom and I start my skincare routine. So first of all, I'm using this Della Rom cleanser which i got from beyond medi spa in kensington now i went for a facial with them a little while ago um, and by the way this isn't like an ad or anything like this i just genuinely actually love the products so i always wash my face with this cleanser um or obviously you can just use any sort of face wash so i just put the cleanser all over my face and then i add some water give it a bit of a scrub and then i pat dry my face then I take this Glow Tonic by Pixie. I've been using this for years and it's just so good. I just take a cotton pad and actually this one's eco-friendly. It's reusable from Garnier and I'm really loving them. Like I didn't think they'd be that good, but they're actually really good. Um, and then I add this Delarom Hyaluronic Acid. Now this is really good, but you have to make sure that you add water to your face before you add it. And then you just sort of pop it all over your face, like around your neck. Um, and it just helps with like tightening things basically. And I've actually found that my face looks so much better when I use this. Okay, and then once that's all rubbed in, I take this Delarom Anti-Redness Cream. When I had the facial, they said that I had a mild form of rosacea. Um, so I basically pop this all over my face and it stops me from going red. So if you're someone when you get like cold or hot and you get like really red cheeks um, or like patches of redness, then you should definitely try this. And then this is my all-time favorite favorite spf now this is by Illumia, and oh my goodness i swear by this it's tinted um and this has actually given me the confidence to not wear makeup every single day i just normally wear like all of this when i go to the gym like normally i don't really wear makeup um because this just gives you like such a nice healthy glow if you're going to get anything make sure you get this it's unbelievable then I take my all-time favorite toothpaste, which is Crest 3D White. I get this from Amazon. I'm obsessed. It keeps my teeth so white. So many people ask me how my teeth are white, and it's honestly down to this toothpaste. It's just the best. And then I use my Philips toothbrush. I always use an electric one because I just find they're so much better than handheld ones. And then lastly, I take this lip mask by Laniège and pop it all over my lips. This is also from Amazon, and again, I swear by it. It makes your lips, oh, there's a hair, lovely. It makes your lips so soft, and I also put this on before I go to bed as well, and then my lips are never dry. Okay, and then I basically go into the kitchen, and I pour myself a big glass of juice, so I always drink sugar-free squash, I'm addicted. Probably go through a bottle of these like every two, three days. It's also calorie-free, so I just have as much of this as I like. And then I always start my day with a coffee. Now I am obsessed with this Oatly Barista oat milk. It is incredible. If you've got a Nespresso machine and a frother like I have here, this makes the milk go so frothy and it doesn't burn it or anything like that. Then I add these My Protein Flav Drops. Now these are actually butter biscuit flavor. It's not my favorite. Um, my favorite is actually the vanilla, but these will do like they're calorie free and they just make it a little bit sweeter. So I just add around one pipette worth. And then when the milk's all frothed, you just pour it into the coffee. Now it's really important that you pour in the milk first because if you put the coffee in first, then you're gonna burn the coffee. So milk in first and then add your coffee like that. And wow, that morning smell is just the best. Then make sure you give it a mix because obviously you've got sweetener in it so you want it to be all mixed together so it's like all sweet and then take your first sip and ah, there's nothing better. So excuse my hair, I'm still like post morning routine but I've just spent the morning doing some client check-ins and doing a little bit of like editing and stuff like that and that's normally what my morning consists of. But now it is, I was gonna look for my watch there, there's no watch on. Um, it is now 10.03, so it's 10.03. 
Um, I am now going to make some breakfast. So this morning I'm gonna be having protein porridge, which is basically my go-to. I have it every single morning. It's so easy to make. And also it's obviously high protein. It keeps me nice and full. And because I've literally just come back to the flat um, for a night, I don't really have any food in. So I don't really wanna go buy some food that I don't really need. Um, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I make it. Um, it's super easy. I just pop it in the microwave. Um, and there is a knack to making it because when people make protein porridge, a lot of people complain that it's kind of grainy. And I know what you mean it does go grainy but there is a reason for it and that is if you add the protein powder too early so if you add the protein powder when the oats are really hot it burns the protein and then it just tastes like oh, you don't want to eat it so basically what you do is you weigh out the oats into a bowl and i normally have around like 40 grams and then i cover it in water microwave it for two minutes give it a stir leave it to like cool and then i add a scoop of protein in when it's like lukewarm give it a mix add maybe some cocoa powder if i'm adding like chocolate protein powder and then i add my toppings and that's it so for my oats i'm going to be using these gluten-free rolled oats from my protein these are actually my favorite oats ever like they come in this massive bag i feel like it's like a kilo potentially maybe a bit more I don't know. I'm too, no, I'm completely wrong. It's two and a half kilos. Um, and it comes like with like a really handy scoop in there as well, which I think is around 30 grams. Um, so I have like one scoop in a bit. And then I'm gonna be using this My Protein Impact Weight Isolate, um, which again is my favorite. It's like a purer form of protein. So it's a better form of protein. Like if you get stomach issues with protein powder, you need to try the isolate because it won't cause you any stomach upset. And I am using chocolate peanut butter. I've just taken my oats out the microwave. They look a little bit like this. Like if it's really thick, um, you might want to add some extra water. Like to be honest, I'm probably going to add some extra water to this, um, but just a smidge. Like you don't want it to be too runny, but obviously because they're hot, they're going to keep cooking. Oh my God, that is so hot. They're going to keep cooking for a little while. There we go guys, there's my hot protein oats. It looks not that great, but trust me, this is literally like the best thing ever. Like so chocolatey and rich. I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun, which is what I normally do. And a lot of you have actually asked me how I do it. So as my hair is like this long, there is a way to do it. And first of all, you're gonna need some of this. So it's the Shockwaves Tough Stuff Heat and Shine. You can get it from Amazon, it's like two quid. Saves your life, so you put, and mine's running out, which is just, it's just ideal, really. Um, and then you put some of this in your hands, and then you're just gonna put it like through your hair like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a brush, I'll use this one, and you're just gonna brush it like up into a ponytail. So. So once you've got your hair up in like this neatish sort of ponytail, we're gonna get some more gel because um, we want it to be like super slick. And then we're just gonna pop it like all over here. And then we're gonna grab this brush again. Now this one's really good because it sort of like helps smooth it out. And it's it's an extension brush actually, but yeah, like it just, I don't, it's an easy locks brush, but it's really expensive, but I'm pretty sure you can just get like a similar sort of brush. What we're gonna do is wrap it round. Now this might take a couple of goes, don't get stressed, okay? It's the main, the main thing is that we just, because obviously we've got hair like a different length, so that looks all right -ish. And then we're gonna take a band and pop it over like that. Then we've got a bun like that. And then we're gonna take another band just to secure it. So over the top. 
We're gonna get some hairspray. I like to use this one just to secure it all over the top, just of the bun. Lastly, what we're gonna do is, because I've got really short hair, I like brush all this extra hair down like this. Um, just so it's like that. And then I'm gonna take some bobby pins and some more hair gel, and I'm gonna coat this hair in gel. Um, and then we're gonna get the pins, so we're just gonna twist it up at the back. So you like twist it and then grip it up all the way up. So it like hides it, if you get what I mean, because I've got this short hair. And there we go, guys. There is my everyday easy slick bun. Um, I just wear this because it just gets my hair out of the way, you know, and yeah. Next up, I'm gonna do my makeup. So this is like my everyday sort of look. To be honest, I'm not actually like a huge makeup person. Like, most of the time I don't really wear anything, but yeah, if I put on makeup, this is what I do. So first of all, I put on this Huda Beauty face primer. Now this is like a jelly one. My best friend actually works for them and she said that I should use this. And it's honestly so amazing. Like it makes your face super dewy. Um, so yeah, I just put a couple pumps of this on and then like rub it around my face. Um, and then obviously this is like the base. So everything will sort of stick to this. Like... Even when I go to the gym, like if I put on makeup, like say if I'm going out after or something, my makeup just stays on because of this primer. If my foundation, I use this NARS Sheer Glow in Santa Fe. I've used this for quite a while now and it's my favorite ever foundation. It's just so light and glowy and like dewy. Um, yeah, this is shade Santa Fe. And what I do is I actually just put on like one big pump like that. And then, um, sorry, I'm trying to look at my mirror as well. Um, and then I just like pop it like all over my face. So I put like a bit here, a bit on the other cheek, a bit on my forehead, and then a bit on my chin as well. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub it in. Now, I like to use my hands just because I find like sponges are such a waste. Like they just sort of like suck it all up, if you get what I mean. So that's why I don't like use sponges that much. Okay, I've just moved into my bedroom because the lighting was really bad, it was stressing me out. But yeah, so now I'm gonna put on my concealer. So I use this NARS concealer in shade Creme Brulee. This is unreal. Like, it's just so thick and creamy and I just pop it like under my eyes um, just to sort of brighten things up. All along here. Um, and this just sort of helps like if you've got bags or anything, I just find that this is like a go-to for that sort of rubbish. Then I'm gonna get a wet sponge and then I'm just literally gonna like pat it all under my eyebrow. Eyebrows under my eyes. Yeah, so that looks right. Um, and then next up we have my favorite little thing that I got when I went to New York actually and I've used it ever since and it's just amazing. So it's this Becca Cosmetics um, translucent under eye like brightening powder. It is like, it's quite expensive and it's this tiny little tub but this tub lasts about a year so you know it's worth it in the long run. And then I get this um, brush as well. I have no idea what brush this is, by the way, it's rubbed off, it's from Sephora. Um, and then you just open it like really gently, because it goes everywhere. Um, put a little bit on top of your brush, brush it off. And then you honestly just put it under your eyes like this. And it like sets all of the um, powder that you've put on there. And actually I find it like really brightens things up. For my eyebrows, um, I use, to be honest, like, it varies, but I always use pencil. And at first I like always just brush them out so they're like nice and brushed. So I just use, oh, by the way, the brush I'm using is, or the pencil is just a Sport FX one. It's called the Definition Duo in brown. And then once I've done one, I'll just do the other one. Microblading is literally the best thing I ever got done for my eyebrows because I just hardly have to do them. It's like an initial cost, but I never get them. I used to get them um, like waxed and stuff all the time and it was costing me so much money. Whereas now I never ever get them waxed, never get them, like I just pluck the old hair out of course. Um, but that's literally it. And then when that's done, now we move on to eyeshadow. So 
Um, when I say eyeshadow though, it's not really eyeshadow. What I do is I actually use my bronzer as like an eyeshadow thing. It just creates like a bit of, um, what's the word? A bit of, I don't know, like, it just highlights my face. So I use this MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. This is probably like my third or fourth one. Like, this is the bronzer that I use as well, by the way. It's so good. It gives like a really like soft, sunny effect. Like, you know, like when you've been on holiday and then you come back, that kind of thing. Um, and then what I do is I just literally put it on like on the top of my eyelids, blend it into the inside of my eye and not too much, like just a gentle bit, just to look nice and like highlighted. So yeah, then I move on to the other eye, give that a bit of a bronze. Okay, and then once I've done that, now I'm gonna move on to my mascara. So what I do is I curl my eyelashes first. So normally I actually have fake eyelashes on, obviously with Corona and everything happening right now. I took them off, um, so I feel a bit bald, but I mean, it's good to have like a bit of a break. So first what I'm gonna do is just crimp or crimp curl, crimp curl my eyelashes. Um, I find this just helps them like look better. I way prefer having eyelashes on, like it just makes everything so much easier. But anyways, um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty mascara, which by the way is so good. It has two different ends, but to be honest, I only really ever use like the curl and length and end. It looks like that, it's just, it's unreal. Um, and then I'll just do my mascara like you normally would. So mascara is done and now we put the bronzer on and we'll put a little bit of highlighter on as well just to finish it off and then obviously I'll do my lips. So for my bronzer I use the same thing that I use for my eyeshadow and then I just use this Bobbi Brown um, bronzer brush and I just pop it. So I always pop it like here on my temples. I just find this like defines your head a bit and then I'll just pop it on my cheek so like on the cheekbone that and then I'll bring it down here as well to like define my jaw and I always bring it down my neck because obviously we don't want to have like a brown head and white neck and then a bit on my nose basically I just make my face like really brown but it's fine we're gonna take this blusher from NARS now this is called orgasm <laughs> this is the brush that I use. I'm gonna put it on my cheeks, obviously. And then I also put it like on my eyes, but I'll show you that in a second. So yeah, so just smile. And then you basically, it's like a pretty pink. So you just smile and then put it on the apples of your cheeks. Like that. And then what I do is I take this other end of my brush, which is from Sport Effects, by the way, and I'll put it like above my eyes, so here. And again, this just makes, it gives like a girlier look. Obviously not too much, we don't want to look like we've been in the face. But yeah, this is like the vibe I sort of go with. My highlighter, I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty palette. So it's the Summer Highlight Palette. palette. And I'm going to be using this shade um, here. So this is my favourite shade. It's just like super golden. And what I do is I just pop it like here. So under my eyes, just literally a smidge. Just to highlight things. Don't look too much because otherwise it just looks like you're a disco ball. And then on the top here, but my nose, and also here on my cupids, right? And lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our lips. So I use this Laniere lip mask, which I showed you in my morning routine or my morning face care routine. I'm just gonna highlight oh, my lips. This is the best stuff in the entire world. Like, it makes your lips so silky soft. And then. Um, I just take a, um, a MAC lip liner. As you can see, I've used this a lot. Let's get a new one. This was in Boldly Bare, and I use this every single day. I just love it. And then I'm just gonna outline my lips, but obviously you just gotta learn to outline your lips. It takes a while, but like once you get the gist of it, you sort of know. So just like gently outline. And there's my lips. Now I'm just gonna pop some more of this lip mask over the top. That is my daily makeup routine, guys. Like, as you can see, it's pretty simple, but I use that every single day, and I just find it, like, works for me. It's not too much, um, and it's easy to do, you know? Like, obviously, like I said, normally I have eyelashes on, but when I don't, this is what I use, and yeah. 
Okay, I've just got dressed and now I just wanna show you what I'm wearing. So I've got this, my protein bra on, which is so comfy by the way. Like, I don't have big boobs, but this is like the comfiest thing in the world. And then at the back, it looks like that. So it's like cross strapped. And then I've got these new leggings on, which are also from my protein. Um, obviously I've got my own socks on, but they've got like this cool detail at the back here. And they just fit so nicely, like they're proper high waisted as well. Um, like actual stretchy um, leggings. And this stuff is actually for Black Friday. So you guys will also be able to get this and obviously I'll link it all for you. That is it from me today, guys. There's my morning routine. That's everything that I do in the morning. Now I've got to film some content for a couple of brands that I'm working for, so I'm all ready. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and obviously um, let me know in the description what you thought and if you've got any questions, again, just let me know and I'll get back to all of you. But I hope you're all good. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye-bye. Fade, I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean You know I don't like it When you're packing your bag And turning your back Calling me a liar